Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women shooting and men cases. We are here to break the code that we see any. We are here to see where they body are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased body suit, they change your ethnicity or misidentity. The Irish you know who's involved, the white supremacists, African Americans, the KKK, and the immigrants. The first round gonna be from OurBlackGhost.com, okay? Um, then I'm gonna do the other round, okay? Let's begin it by a young woman named Natasha Kiana. Kiana, K-I-E-A-N-N-A, 37, trans woman found dead in default. This how she looks. Okay. If the LGBTQIA plus community continues to raise their voices for equity and equality, there has been increasing violence against the transgender community, too, as politicians argue over if, if we should or shouldn't have genderless bathrooms. Trans women of color finding themselves victims of physical and verbal assaults. The mysterious death of maybe I am okay, but it's cancer though. Okay, would I literally would I cut my pussy off and get a dick? No, but you know I am a friend's woman. Okay, but when I was in high school, when I my cancer comes, I'm a man. I will be in the bathroom with the boys. Oh, I mean. Um, I think we should still lose the restroom with him, okay? So, if a friend's woman was born a man, but he became a woman, and he go in the girl's bathroom, he's a woman. So, he should lose the bathroom with a woman, okay? Period. Okay? Because he's a woman now. As politicians, okay, themselves victims of physical and verbal assaults, the mysterious death of, of Natasha Kiana had puzzled those following the story and has been report, reported on as being a crime. However, investigators haven't given a public update on her official cause of death. So, that's another picture of her. The last time Benita Shelton saw her daughter was on December the 28th, 2020, during the holiday season. Natasha, a friend's woman, stopped by her mother's home to grab a plate of leftovers from a holiday dinner. But that wasn't the last time she was seen all together. Yes. I remember this day. The following day, Natasha was spotted at the Crane's Book the Fort Motel where she reportedly living with my daughter there, located near 8 Mile in Greenfield. She is said to have been by herself and was seen getting into her vehicle, a 2005 Saturn SUV. According to management at the hotel, Natasha Kiana left all of her personal belongings inside of her room and before leaving, she stopped by the office to make a payment. Then Natasha disappeared, and for weeks, there wasn't any answers as to what happened following her departure from the motel. Her mother made impassionate public pleas for her daughter's safe return, but in January 2021, authorities returned with tragic news. She always let me know where she was, her mom said. I'm just sick to my heart. My heart is broken. I just want my child. On January the 12th, the body of Natasha's Kiana was found inside of her vehicle on the Fourth West Side. She was found in the passenger side of the car and a resident in the area told reporters that the vehicle had been parked there for about two weeks. The residents also said they called police multiple times and it took weeks for them to come out and inspect the vehicle. Authorities determined there was no sign of foul play or trauma and they claimed that upon immediate ins inspection of the body, there were no signs of decomposition either. Timber shows in court in late December reached highs in the mid 40s and lows in the cranies that freezing temperatures plagued the city. Okay, this another picture of her. She was a beautiful person, said Bonita. She was all loved all over. The grieving mother also said, shared that Natasha Kiana got herself mixed up with the wrong crowd and believed that her daughter's death was uh, suspicious. A week, my baby sat there in a car a week and froze to death. They kept calling me for police and they never came out. It's reported that police was investigating Natasha's death as natural causes, but there hasn't been public updates from the medical examiner regarding Natasha's cause of death. Prior source reported that the Friends Sister of Color Project before also issued a statement. TSCLP-D would like to extend our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Natasha Kiana, said Vice President J. Meese Mazrazi Pondesta. We have not been made privy to all the details and information surrounding the loss of our sister, but we eagerly await more news. We will continue 
to love and appreciate each life we believe in our community as all life has value and meaning. Who? Anyone with information about this case is us to contact the Fort's 8th Precinct Investigation Unit at 313-596-5840 or Crime Stoppers at 800 Speak Up. Please share this story by Natasha Kiana to help bring resolution to this case. She is our sister and her life matters. So y'all have to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do for the fame of the money. I do for the love of the dude. And to the real families of the victim, we will get y'all set up, okay? Thank you.